Also in South Carolina campaigning today, the state's former governor and presidential candidate Nikki Haley, along with the state's current senator Tim Scott. Both are holding events this afternoon. And for more on the great state of South Carolina, we are joined by King Dawson. He is the former chairman of the South Carolina Republican Party. Uh, Kayton, good morning. Thank you for being here. Good morning, Kelly. Thank you for having me. Well, it's always a pleasure. So last time we spoke, you had predicted one or two Republican candidates were going to emerge in this race as strong contenders to former President Trump, adding that those will be the candidates to watch. So we've had the first Republican presidential debate last week, two of the candidates on the stage, as you know, with strong ties to South Carolina. Was there a candidate who broke out from the pack in your view? Uh, certainly, the, the polls and, and, and the surrounding commentary from the debate show that Nikki Haley had a, a really strong performance. Uh, Ron, Ron DeSantis did, did okay, and, and the rest of them seem to have bounced all over the walls there. So I always would tell you, debates are about staying alive to fight another day uh, and being promoted, and they're about failing and falling off the stage. The first debate usually doesn't make people fall off the stage. I held two debates in South Carolina when I was chairman um, at, at national debates. And you, you can see how the, the, the crowd starts thinning before it gets to South Carolina. So I, I'm not sure it'll thin before the Reagan Library in September, uh, but it's going to thin pretty quickly with money and enthusiasm. And plus, you've got a, a sitting pre a former sitting Republican president uh, to run against who, who, who continues to stack up indictments. And with that, he continues to increase his poll numbers, which is kind of unusual. Well, I do want to dig in a little deeper into that in just a moment. Um, first, let's talk about South Carolina, the state. Uh, the primary there will be held February 24th, the first in the South. So this is a state President Biden has a great fondness for as well. It's a state that helps solidify his nomination. Uh, do you see that being the case for the Republicans this time around? It's going to matter a lot. It always had. This primary started in 1980, and really it started in 76 when Ronald Reagan didn't beat Gerald Ford at the National Convention. That was what the movement was about. So South Carolina had its first primary in 1980 where uh, where, the, where the party ran it, Kelly. So uh, from that point forward, every person except for Mitt Romney, who lost to Newt Gingrich, has gone on to win the nomination. And I would contend it's because both in the Democratic and, 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 and the Republican primary, this state really resembles that base vote around the country. We've got a, 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 a lot of military retirees. We have a large African-American population. Uh, we have a decent amount of voters. It'll be the largest vote taken in, in the early primaries. It'll be about 800,000 in the Republican primary. And certainly Joe Biden, uh, which I don't suspect he'll have a primary here. Uh, the, the, the committees don't have to have them. Uh, but I suspect that uh, Joe Biden would love to have a primary here because of the support from Jim Clyburn, who is the is the base of the Democratic Party here and can really move people to vote. So uh, that's how he won. Uh, uh, Jim Clyburn stepped up at the last minute and saved him. And, and I think Joe Biden will never forget it. So what is the biggest focus for South Carolina voters in 2024? Well, Kelly, I, I think it's just the state of the economy always matters. It's not specifically the price of gasoline. It, it is the price of back to school supplies. It is things that matter. You're going to have Christmas spending coming up where the products are going to be available. So the economy in general always matters in a presidential race. And certainly the party in charge uh, usually gets the fault of it. And right now the party in charge is seen as the Democrats, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. So I think that's what matters is what your personal situation is. I, I don't really believe that primary voters in either place will vote for somebody who they think can win the general election. I don't. I, I've never, I've, I've polled and never seen that, Kelly, that it matters. They vote for somebody who represents their fears, their hopes, and their aspirations for their families. That's what usually a primary is about. And that's why the number is pretty small in who votes in primaries and starts naming who their general candidate is going to be. Yeah, those are the big issues across the country. All right, Kate and Dawson, thank you for your insight. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.